Hey YouTube, Cube Hamster here with a new video. Um, it's been a while since I uploaded uh, something. There's two reasons for that. First of all, I've just been incredibly busy with work. And second of all, I've been a bit anxious waiting for version 1.0 uh, to see how much my stuff broke. Um, turned out to not be that bad. Uh, actually, while working on this new project, or the, my current project, um, really sort of liking version 1.0. is. Uh, I thought the yeah the way repeaters worked and uh, responded to redstone would be meh, but uh, yeah it's actually pretty useful. Can uh, can do some some cool stuff with that. So uh, working on my new project. Uh, the other thing that happened is I up yeah already I started working in this world again and wanted to see if my combination block still worked. Headset empty again. Um, never mind though. But um, <laughs> it was weird. I started playing, and then all of a sudden it started snowing. So sort of getting a Christmas feel already. The snow is awesome. <laughs> um, well, obviously, in order to fix this combination lock, I had to replace all my glowstone sticky pistons with uh, yeah some other item. I don't know. I choose this wood. Uh, as long as it's solid, it, it works. Um, I did. I did completely mess up my feed tape, though. I. Um, yeah, I was running it and was like, oh no, wait, I have to replace this glowstone here. And what I did was I removed the glowstone and it then changed the direction of the feed tape while it was running and it, it sort of exploded. So yeah, so I had to fix that. And now my feed tape is no longer identical to my old one and, and I had to make a new uh, password. So that sucked. Um, some other thing that uh, was messed up was the RS Norledge array. Um, what I had to do was uh, normally, let me get the torch, normally the input was here and the torches from this red circuit were above, but I had to yeah, move them to the left one block and then place a torch on the side with a block on top. So now this is the, the NOR gate and normally it was like that. Aesthetics, very important. But um, yeah, so that fixed that, and I had it to do for all the latches. So yeah, basically you removed the, the torch, moved it to the left, and then torch block on top. Uh, so that's all the same. Um, the other thing that I changed was the yeah the way the the red circuit goes up here. There's a different delay on it now as well. We've got 12 here and 14 in total. So 12, then a torch and a torch. And that's to yeah, make it not interfere with the yellow and uh, green circuit. Um, so 12 tick delay until the first torch. And while I changed that, I also changed the delay up here, which is now... Um, Doing the math, <laughs> 17 ticks. Um, so that that's two things that changed. And then, if you guys might have noticed, there's a new some new wires. There was someone on the forum uh, named Ending Credits that was nice enough to, uh, yeah, basically basically let me know there was like a minor flaw in my design. Um, I don't think many like combination locks that are used with this array uh, <laughs> actually fix uh, that. So it's not really my fault, but what I did was, uh, or what he said was that if you're at uh, a certain latch, so let me actually do that. Uh, let's remove that one. Let's say I'm at the third latch, so let's turn that one on. Now, normally in in my old version, if you would enter the color that is that is the third latch, it would not turn off. Um, so I sort of wanted to fix that, and the the way I fix that is with uh, this light purple wire. Um, what it does is it's basically the output of the of the RS Norledge array is hooked into a block with a torch on the side, so with an inverter, and then I send the signal up, inverting it again, and then I take that signal and I guide it all the way past
blast the pistons into another block. And then I put a torch on the side that is gonna, yeah, sort of light up this uh, redstone up here. So even if I enter the the third color, uh, come, uh, yeah, the third color and direction co correctly, normally it would turn off the dust. But there's a torch here, so it won't. The torch will override that and keep it on. Keep it on. So let's actually do that now. The third color is brown left in my new combination. It's gonna be a long spin, but hell, let's just do it. So, there we go. So now it does turn off the, the, the latch. And the other thing I added, which was not something that anyone <laughs> commented on on the, on the forum, and might actually be completely unnecessary, but uh, yeah, if you are at uh, like the third latch or any other latch that is pretty far away, and oh, oh, and you then enter the first color. So say I do that now, which is purple right. Then normally it would just turn on the first latch. Even if you're at the fifth one or the sixth one or the fourth one. Or one. But uh, yeah, now it doesn't. And the reason for that is this brown circuit here, which also is hooked up to the new circuit. And what it does is there's lots of dust there. And the moment that uh, one of the latches is turned on, so say the third one again. I don't know why I keep using that one. But the moment one of them is turned on, um, the torch here, which transfers power up, also transfers power down, activates the, the redstone. And I take that redstone and I feed it into the first NOR gate. So now, even. Oh, yeah, there's a torch down there. So now, even if I turn off this dust, it, it won't activate uh, the RS NOR latch because. Um, on the other side of the NOR gate, there's still an input. And that's just the way a NOR gate works. If there's input, then <laughs> the torch will stay off. So that's the other thing. Uh, and then there's one more thing that sort of using this new circuit, I also changed the location of the output. Output was normally here on the side, but seeing as I have this new circuit, uh, and I've got lots of torches going up, I actually yeah, sort of decided, uh, yeah, why the hell not <laughs> get the output from here to make it a bit smaller. I think there was already someone on the forum that did uh, compact this design. It should easily be, yeah, able to compact it more, but uh, personally I, I can't be bothered with it now since I'm busy with something else. Um, so yeah, that changed. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, the, the, the glowstone and stuff. So. I'm a bit sorry for one thing though, because I I can't upload this uh, world file, uh, so you can see it for yourself, or at least not yet. That's because in this same world I'm working on my new project, and obviously until uh, it's done, I really don't want to release any I <laughs> any info on it. So yeah, you can you guys can expect it's uh, yeah it's progressing pretty fast, so that should be yeah somewhere along upcoming week depending on how uh, how much time i have to yeah work and correct uh, do corrections on, on test results and stuff like that so yeah thanks for watching um stay tuned and yeah i'll see you guys in my uh, next video bye bye